The first step in this project is to generate keyframes based on the audio amplitude. So in our project composition, in the audio amplitude project in the chapter 19 folder, I'm going to open up this layer and we see that it's an audio track here. We can also tell from the speaker. I'm going to right click on the audio layer and then I'm going to go to keyframe assistant. Now the only option we have here, because we don't have any keyframes on this layer, is to convert audio to keyframes. And folks, really, this is the whole magic of the whole trick of this project. I convert audio to keyframes. And once we click the option, then After Effects will generate a brand new layer. And this type of layer is called a null object. A null object is basically like a dummy layer. It's essentially a place where we can just store data. Now, visually, null layers show up as a little red box here in the composition panel. But if we click the eye icon, that goes away. We really don't need to see that for our purposes here. So I'm going to select the audio amplitude layer, hit the letter U. That will reveal all the keyframes applied to this layer. So this is what After Effects did for us when we told it to convert the audio to keyframes. As you can see here, when we zoom in, it's basically created a new keyframe for every single frame based on the volume of the audio. Now it's created three sets of keyframes, the left channel, the right channel, and both channels. As I move in time here, eventually we're going to start to see those numbers change. And so what we're going to do in the next movie is we're going to control our visual properties by using expressions to link those properties to these values. Now this can get a little confusing in this project because we have left channel values, right channel values, and then a property that controls both channels. Just to keep things nice and orderly, we're only going to be working with the both channels value. So what I'm going to do is hold Option and Shift on the Mac or Alt Shift on the PC and click right channel and left channel. And that will just remove them. It doesn't delete the keyframes. It just removes them from the view in the timeline panel. So now we're ready to link this up with expressions. So let's get to it.